The cold weather is wreaking havoc in Texas. The temperatures crippled their electrical grid, leaving millions of people without power for days and causing pipes to freeze and burst. So the question is, are we protected from a similar crisis happening here in Ohio? News 5's Jay Jarvis talked to an expert about the state of our own electrical grid. As the entire country looks on at the power crisis unfolding in Texas, many are wondering, could that happen to us? Grant Goodrich, the executive director of the Great Lakes Energy Institute at Case Western Reserve University, says it's unlikely for a couple of reasons. Goodrich says in Texas, most people rely on electricity to heat their homes and businesses. And so as the temperatures plunged, most Texans turned up the heat to keep their homes, businesses and buildings warm. And it, it really pushed unprecedented demand onto the grid in Texas. Texas's electrical grid is separated from the rest of the countries. So as they needed more electricity to keep up with demand, they couldn't get it. Goodrich says most Ohioans heat their homes with natural gas. So if a major distribution center were to fail, that would probably be the only time we'd see problems like the ones happening in Texas. And when Ohioans are blasting the AC during super hot days in the summer, there are protections in place to keep the power going then too. We have something called demand response where uh, our regional grid will ask major users to reduce their energy consumption during peak hours so that they can balance the amount of power generation that's coming in with the amount of load that's on the electrical grid. You, usually you can get large companies and, and large businesses, large buildings to cooperate and, and to help out with that. Also, because Ohio was part of one of the two major national power grids, if the state lost power locally, companies could get electricity from outside of the state. Jay Jarvis, News 5.